In my last column, I got a few questions about soldering the small wires to the LEDs and some apprehension about doing that. Well, these little tiny things can be made to behave if you take your time and a little care soldering the wires to them becomes quite easy. Let me show you how. Let's turn the soldering iron on. And while that's getting heated up, what I have to do is to actually put flux on each LED, both sides, so that the solder will flow easily. Right now that the soldering iron has reached its temperature, we're going to solder and tin the wires. I've attached a piece of solder to the magic hands here, make things easier. I just approach, oops, here we go, just a little pass, one, and a little one on the other. That's all there is to it. Now the wires are ready. Just take the wire. Take one side as close as you can to the shrink tubing and the other side right on the pad. This is where tiny adjustments are in order. There you go. They're pretty much in place now. Okay, let's try this. There we go. Just barely touch to one side. Touch the other side. There you go. You can see that. I'll pull it back a bit here. So she's stuck right on there. And then I'm going to cut the exceeding wire off. And there's your LED. Okay, now once uh, we've soldered the sucker on there, let's test it. Hey, Eureka! We have one shiny lead. While we're here, let me just show you how this box works. I brought it down from 30 milliamps to 2 milliamps. It's a lot less bright. So you can vary the brightness of your LED. by the number of milliamps you give it. Lamp shade, LED. What I do is I make a tiny 90 degree bend here. And a little bend back. So when I put it into the lampshade it should be right in the middle. Here we go. Now before I go all the way, i take some Aline Stacky glue. Put some glue right in the neck of the lampshade and draw the LED down into it. Just a little adjustment with the tweezers. And there we go. And I hang it out to dry.
see this there. Here we go. So it'll leave it there to dry. And that'll come out just like this one. Tacky glue disappears. And this sucker will be centered right in there. Okay, as you've seen, <laughs> it's relatively easy, I will say, relatively easy to solder this. It's especially a lot easier if you don't happen to have a camera in your way and you have to work your way around it. But try it. Take the time to do it. You'll see it's not as bad as it looks. I hope you enjoyed this series. Uh, we'll try to do more video for you as we go along. It sure depends on what the subject is. But I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching. Thank you.